What's up, guys? Nick Wisdom Heli Direct behind a really huge box. But it's not just me and my box. I want to introduce my friend who came up with this whole crazy idea that we should try our first scale helicopters. Mr. Brian Birdsong. Oh, over there. That way. This way. That way. Oh, this way. That way. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Brian? What's up, How are you? Oh, I'm doing good, Nick. So, you know, we, we recently saw that Heli Direct was starting to carry this line of fuselages um, between uh, Fun Key and is it Fusano? I think is it's Fusano. It? Yeah, Fusano. Fusano, and Fun yeah. Key. And we thought, man, this is fantastic. So we can, uh, you know, get our fingertips wet in the uh, world of scale helicopters. So, you know, the, the Hughes MD500E is one of my favorite birds. And I saw that they had it available. So I said, I got to jump on. I'm like, Nick, let's do it. Let's grab some, some scales, man. We're Same here. thing for me. I, I, I had a, a kind of an extra 550 size heli. And I saw that they had the Augusta 109, A109 uh, in the 550 mm -hmm. size. And I was like, this is perfect. Uh, I'm going to repurpose that helicopter. Hopefully figure out how to shove it in here. But the cool thing is <laughs> Brian and I ordered these so close together, uh, we actually have not opened the boxes. So we're going to do a little uh, not Heli Direct new scale fuselage lineup unboxing for you. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can tell. and I don't even know, Brian, you can lift your box, but this thing is just, yeah. I can't even it's move it in massive. my workbench. It's I huge. Mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good 35 pounds easy. Yeah. Monster. I think so, so I guess we just try and cut into the ends and and we probably won't yeah. talk too much because we'll end up having a, there'll be some hilarity in here while we try and figure out how to get this thing yeah. out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a knife. Fun, fun. Are we ready to All cut right, into yes. these things? I got my box cutter here. All right, I'm going in on the end. All right. This, this may be a box in a box, I think, let me see. Yeah, I'm looking like I got a box in a box too. Oh yeah, okay. box in a box. So that means this is going to have to come off because I don't have enough room to pull it out. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Let I'm going to have to do this kind of off camera, I think. Here's where and, the music uh, starts playing, a little, little yeah, montage. The elevator music, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, wow, look at that. Oh, looks like we both got the, the line drawing of the helicopter on the box. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. Take my top off here, let's see. Ugh. What is it? Taped? I don't think it's taped. Mine's not taped, but it's a real snug fit. Really tough. So, you know, one of my skill stories, making why I wanted to get into it as well, was, you know, at Urcha, you know, there's a, a big scale heli tent. Yeah. And when I tell you it's the absolute most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life, I was in awe of seeing all of those beautiful birds. And I said, man, next summer, next year, I have to do some type of scale project. Even if it's not as, you know, detailed and oriented as those guys are with the, you know, the, the fine tune, uh, details of the rivets and even the models inside of the birds. I just want to get a bird, put it together and fly it. And then maybe my next project will be a super detailed one. So we'll see. Whew. That was hard work. Looks like I got some nice, uh, uh, components here, or some compartments rather, of each part of the fuse. Yeah, I'm in the same way. And it you looks got a like box here. I got some hardware bags, and it looks like the whole fuse must be together in here. We'll Absolutely. See. I mean, I think the, you know, the at least the body all the way through the boom is one piece. This is really well packaged, man. This is like a box Very inside a nice. box. Everything's taped down. Ooh, I got retracts. Ooh. Oh, nice. I'm just going to put this thing on the bench and make the wheels go up and down and up and down. I don't even need to fly it. <laughs> windshields there, put this to the side. Windshield. I don't know about you, Brian. I have no idea how we glue these windshields in. I feel like there's great potential to screw that up. We're going to have to reach out to some scale buddies and figure oh, out. Oh, absolutely. That. I know my Mr. Renee's out there. Let me help us out. Manual here, oh, a little wow, black and white that. manual. It says, nice. Look at those kids. insert mechanics, bolt on blades, fly helicopter. All right, we can do that. <laughs> a few more steps than that. But yeah, I'm down to just the fuselage yeah. and these styrofoam kind of holders here. Found my manual as well. Looks pretty cool, detailed. So my idea too of putting the kit in this thing, I'm gonna try to fit um, an old Spectre V1. It's It's pretty long. Uh, I guess body the frame is, uh -huh. but it should fit this bird. This bird is is very forgiving because it's really wide. Um, 
So, you know, a lot of the fuses are really narrow. And so that's a particular type of kit that would fit them. But this one will accept uh, a lot of different kits. And, you know, one of the guys I reached out to on the community said, you know what, you just gotta get creative because that's the beauty about this. You get creative, you add shims where you need shims, you add blocks of wood where you need blocks of wood. So you'll figure it out. So yeah. That's awesome. So. I feel like I've spent a lot of time, every time I go to a fun fly, man, I love visiting the scale guys. So. I've seen the insides of a few of them. I kind of have a feel of how they block the frame to the fuselage. So, man, this foam mm -hmm. is glued to the side of the box. This is really yeah, well packaged. Yeah, I know, I just pulled my Get hand. these components out of the box, get rid of the boxes, and then, uh, well, look at this. I got the fuselage out of the box. Well, I got windshield wipers right. in the kit. Check that out. <laughs> like little tiny scale windshield wipers. That's awesome. Nice little hardware bag of some Different odds and ends, some plywood pieces. Looks laser cut, nice. I got parts for days in this thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, so this and is, this little box. I went with a 550 size. <laughs> Brian is, is is going with a 700 size. So his box is a little bigger. Yeah. He's got a few more pieces. Well, you know, I reached out to the scale community on Facebook and I was like, hey guys, I'm getting started. I want an MD 500. Um, I'm thinking about a 600 size at first. And, uh, you know, and it was kind of, Half and half, the guys were like, oh, you know, 600 size is a great start. And then my buddy Evan was like, dude, go for the 700 size. Trust me, you're going to love it. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. I said, you know, and I was thinking about the mechanics that would go inside, and I was just unsure about it. But uh, again, when I reached out to the one guy, he said, get creative, you'll figure it out. You know, you might have to dremel something here, dremel something there. Like I said, add a block of wood to lift it up or so. You'll make it work. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do the 700 size. So grab the 700. God, I can't believe how big it is. I don't know Ugh. if I can wait for you to cut this padding off. I'm getting excited here. Now let's rip the paper off, dude. I, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not tooting our own horn here, but this packaging job is real nice. It's really nice, very nice. Got another layer of paper oh, underneath the foam man. padding stuff. This thing is gorgeous, wow. Wow, that paint oh. job is Bad ass. It my is friends. amazing. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. High quality fiberglass. Yeah, yeah, that's nice and rigid. On the inside looks really good. Nice block base there. Wood base rather. Nice. Man, this is gonna be fun. That is huge. All right, I'm yeah. gonna take the paper off of mine here. Yeah. Wow. And that thing is gorgeous too. Wow. This. I put the noise folks. Is awesome. Look at this thing. Oh, that is gorgeous, man. That is gorgeous. I love it. I figure out how to get this front I love it. half off because it looks like was it screwed? Yeah, it looks like there's actually screws holding these two halves together for now. You know, I'm interested how the little battery's in and out too. So, you know, will it be easy to pull the front canopy off or is there another method of doing it? All right, oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. Look at that monster there. Woo-wee! Holy cow. Man, oh man. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. Oh, I got more parts I'm here. Oh. Looks like I got some light covers, tail cone, uh, horizontal, what you call the horizontal stabilizer at the back of a helicopter, but I got that. Well, this is nice. There's there's hard plywood mounts already for the retracts in here, at least one of them. Man, this is great. So I love this. So there's little metal, like where the turbine exhaust would be on the full scale. And they're, they're yeah. already kind of weathered a little bit. It's awesome. Nice. <laughs> It's got this nice little mesh grating where there would be sort of air vents for the engine to breathe. Uh, man, this thing is just, it's beautiful. But this is this is a really pretty paint job, man. The decals are, you know, yeah. really nice quality. And I got this huge hatch that'll come off, so tons of room for it to get to the mechanics. And I mean, there's a lot of room inside this thing. I mean, it is very wide open, so it should be, um... I'm not gonna say it's gonna be trivial, but I'm gonna say it's, it may be okay. It may be okay. Anyway, here's the uh, the big vertical tail fin with the horizontal fin up at the top. Wow. This thing is 
badass. That is badass. That's awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Check it out. The Augusta 109, A109, I should say, in Coast Guard scheme. And this is the Hughes MD500E in a nice yellow, uh, red, and blue scheme. All right. And I'm Nick Wisdom. Brian Birdsong. And you're watching Hack TV. I don't know. We done. We is done. This is awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> Woo!